what has happened to interest rates in the overall market in this question between the time of issuance and the purchase of the bond? Rates went down, good. And we know that because the price of bonds have gone up. Rates down, prices up. Premium bonds. Very good. Any other questions here? Okay, if, it, if you're not getting it, tell me a little bit why. What, what piece is not making sense? Uh, the prices went up. Prices didn't go down. Prices went up, which means the yields go down. Okay, if you have a question, put it in. Let's see it. Let's just spend one minute here breaking this thing down. Yeah, this bond would have to be amortized for sure. Okay, so let's say we pay, there's a bond that's for 1,200. Okay, let's say there's this 8% bond out here. All right, 8% bond. And if you buy this bond, for $1,200, what do you get back in maturity? $1,000. And all the while, Every what, you receive what in interest? There's two potential answers here. Okay, Maria, Nathan, I'll take it. Good. Good, James. Not quite Ernesto. Good, Annalie. All right, so every six months, you receive $40. So far, so good? Every six months, you get 40 bucks. And so, did you earn, did you earn 8% on this investment? Did you earn 8% on this investment? You're getting 8% a year. But are you going to earn 8% on the whole thing? I'm going to switch these babies. You're not going to earn 8% because you have to include what? You got 80, 80, plus 80. But what happens at the end? Minus $200. And this piece right here, is that going to increase, have no effect, or decrease your return? Put differently, will losing $200 in an investment help, hurt, or have no effect? on your return. What do you all think? Will losing $200 in an investment help your return, do nothing to your return, or 
hurt your return. Help, it's gonna hurt it. Driving the yield to maturity down. That's what happens here. If you buy a bond at par and you get your 8% a year, and then at the end you get par, well, making nothing extra and losing nothing help hurt or do nothing to your return. If you buy a bond at par and you get par back, what's your rate of return? The coupon. And you get 8% a year. And if you, how much are you getting back if you buy this thing for 900? Thousand. Well, getting help, hurt, do nothing. To the return. Getting how much extra? Good. $100 extra? That's going to help us. Everybody see that's going to help us? My return will be, yield to maturity will be higher or lower than the coupon. Higher or lower than the coupon. Good. It's got to be higher. Because that extra 100 bucks is rolled up into my whole investment stream. Let me show it to you one more way and then we're going to move on. Real quick, a couple questions came in. Where did we get the 40? Where did we get the 40 every six months? 8% a year? 8% of 1,000 equals 80 per year, but paid in two equal semi annual payments of 40. Does that make sense? So let me show you this one more time because this bond concept's an important one. Let's say it's a five-year bond, okay? Five-year bond. We got the 1,200-er, we got the par, and we got the 900-er. And then every year we get 80 bucks, okay? Because I'm gonna do this annually. Every year we get 80 bucks. And then what else happens at the end of the life of the bond? We lose 200. No gain or loss. And here we gain 100. Which of these profiles do you like the best? Which of these do you think is the most attractive? This is actually, so this would be... Um, And do it a little bit differently. So this is investment, that's money out, and this is return, money in. So here it's actually, you're, you're still gonna get a thousand, right? But that is gonna be a loss. You see the $200 in there? And this is going to be a thousand, which means there's a hundred dollar gain in there. So you can think about it in this capacity to show, all right, this has to be the best trade. But the thing is, you're not able to buy 8% bonds. You're not able to buy 8% bonds at a discount when rates have fallen. So you don't always get to choose which of these, like these are not always available. Does that make sense to everybody? You only get to buy what's in the market. And that's gonna depend on what's going on with rates. Feeling good here?